How many of you have been told that you should start your acting career as doing commercials? Right? Well, people get confused by that statement. They think that they, before they even study a day of acting, they should go get a commercial agent. And I believe that good commercial auditioning is acting. Now, there's all kinds of different commercials. And years ago, you had to be an actor due to commercials. Today, you don't have to. I mean, have you ever asked yourself what it is that you want? Do you want a career in acting? Do you want, uh, which means doing you know, film and television and theater and doing commercials and, and whatever, and industrials, whatever. Do you want a career in commercials? Do you want to just be, is it a hobby? Do you want to maybe just do commercials on the side? Are you a dedicated actor? Because when people come to me and they say, you know, I've just, you know, I, I was told that I should start in commercials and they want to take a commercial class and get an agent before they've even acted. I literally spend most of my first meeting with those people trying to talk them out of my class and try to talk them into taking an acting and an improv class because I have great teachers in those categories as well. Because that's what I really believe, but if that's what they want, I'm there to help them, okay? And I, so when you come and study with me, I tell people good commercial auditioning is acting. Now, I know there's several teachers in this town that say right up front, commercials have nothing to do with acting. Well, I, I think that's the case for some of the auditions. Like, there's all kinds of different auditions, if you think about it. There's improv auditions. There's question audition, where they ask you a question. You know, there's auditions where they say, we want you to you know, uh, jump up and down and do push-ups or ride a horse. Or you know, do you swim? You know, there's questions about skills. And that's how that's a lot of commercials are done that way. And then there's one-line commercials and longer copy commercials. And there's hosting commercials. And then there's commercials where you really have to be a good actor. And then there's com scenes where there's very short scenes and long scenes. So, a lot of the ones that require improv or any kind of acting, I think you need to be an actor in order to do that. Do you need to be an actor to get up there and just let do your, pro, you do your slate and profiles and walk out of there? Not necessarily, because that's a look. But most of the people that are in this room and hopefully watching this video are people who would like to be good actors. So that's why I believe in approaching good commercial auditioning like it's acting. Okay, so again, I'm going to just touch on this, is that why should you listen to me? Okay, you know, my name is Carolyn Barry. I have been an actress for a, many years. I've been teaching for 30 years. I have done a lot of casting. I directed an off-Broadway show. I have three products for actors out. I have won awards for being a teacher. So I have certain credentials, which makes me, a, I, can see, I believe, a master teacher not just in commercials, but in the business, because I've done it all and I've worked with a lot of different people. And I believe that that's why you might want to really take what I have to say into account and pay attention and really take some of this information and work with it. Um, and, and again, I want to mention that whenever you study with anybody, you should always research these people. Research them, see videos. Today in society, most of these teachers have videos. See if you buy what they're saying. See if it feels right for you. And also before you study with any teacher, I didn't mention this earlier, audit. And any teacher that doesn't let you audit, I feel you shouldn't study with. And some teachers don't allow it. Some people are charging to audit now, which I find really perverse. But um, you really should audit any teacher that you study with or anybody that you're even going to listen to. Find out about them before you take their word as gospel. Okay? So we're going back to talking about uh, good acting, good, good commercial auditioning is good acting. Now, there's, there's two major elements that I have time to cover in this next segment here that will make a major difference in your audition. And, there are two, and then in different acting techniques, they may have different words for it or different expressions. But the two main things are who you're talking to and the pre-life. Now, who you're talking to. Because who you're talking to affects who you are and how you uh, interpret material. And let's go a little sidestep here. What does interpretation mean? What do you think it means? Most people will give me all kinds of definitions, but I heard one from a really dear friend of mine who's a really great casting director, Michael Donovan, and I'll steal this from him. Interpretation is how you feel about what you say, right? And how one person feels about a line or an interpretation is different than another person because it's differently how they feel. And commercials happen so fast. It's hard, it's hard to feel anything. So that pre-life moment is very important. 